More than 2,000 students will go back to school tomorrow in Williamsburg County. As we begin a new school year, I sat down one on one with the leaders of all of our local school districts. Today we're in Williamsburg County where students have calendar changes and new safety measures. We're small, but we're here and we're productive. Williamsburg County School District Superintendent Dr. Kelvin Wims is in his third year with the district. The rural school district has around 2,000 students and 11 schools. Safety improvements are always priority. Last year, they added metal detectors and implemented a clear bag and no hoodie policy. They have school resource officers in the middle and high schools, and this year they will add SROs to elementary schools as well. No teacher vacancies and all bus routes are covered, but some drivers will have multiple routes. Last year, WCSD sampled the modified year round calendar model, but this is the first official full year for the calendar changes. We're using a new modified calendar, which really means it seems like yesterday we got out of school. But, but we think this is going to enhance the learning opportunities for our students, but it doesn't give you a lot of time to turn around and prepare for the new school year. So we've had to do everything very uh, succinctly. Uh, we've had to get ready for schools. We have older schools, so we've had to really work hard. Our facility managers have done an unbelievable job of getting us prepared. Um, just our curriculum we've had to lay out we've had to move everything up and be prepared but we think we're ready we think we're ready and and we know what our scholars are capable of doing six years ago the state department of education took control of the district due to academic and financial concerns dr wim says those issues have been addressed but it's a matter of sustaining academic improvement he says they are excited about academic gains now, coming up today at 5 on the CW, what the district is doing to regain students they lost after the pandemic.